Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we are here on the Citadel in West Hill where we picked up yesterday and uh, we're just going to keep on going. It is a rainy, miserable March week here in Nova Scotia and normally I'd be outside for a walk this time of day, but we're going to be playing Minecraft instead and no complaints. Happy to be here as I'm also happy to see Grandpa Crafter Dan Grice Scotsman UK and Insane Value and the Druid Gen. Yes, it is a weird time. I normally, even when I do get a, a stream midweek, I tend to go at the same time, my time, which is 1 p.m. But I was up really early today. So like I had lunch at 10 a.m. <laughs> so I figured, well, it's 1 a.m. It's 1 p.m. for me <laughs> in my mind. Uh, but this is where we left off yesterday. We finished up this staircase and this path, it's all nice and textured now. Looking at it with the fancy cams. I've not textured this road. You'll probably notice a lot of the roads are not textured and that's because I leave them to last because I, I never know if I have to move them and it's better to wait until you know 100% that that's where they're going to be. Uh, and then we also did the texture on this side of the riverbank and there's even a little secret passageway. Which reminds me, I think that when I ran through this the other day, there were some odd textures. Yeah, so I think the first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab some stone. And we're going to come down here and fix this up. And I'm going to grab some candles and we're going to light it up as minimal as possible. And I think it'll look pretty cool. Just enough so things don't spawn down there. I guess we could always put slabs and stuff down there too. Um, to keep it really, really dark. In the meantime... I'll get my frame rate back and turn off the fancy cam. Jumbo Sale Gaming, subscribing at Tier 1. 39 months. Almost a big 4-0. Also, yay, a 10 p.m. stream for me. I guess Jumbo Sale, that works out great for people on the other side of the planet. Yeah. <laughs> Remind me, Jumbo, is it is it Singapore? If you don't mind me asking live on stream. I'm trying to remember where you are. I know I've tuned into your Lego streams before, but I'm just, I'm trying to remember where on the globe. Yep, Singapore, cool. Memory like a steel sieve I have. In that I will remember lots of things. Unfortunately, most of the things I end up remembering are often useless. That, however, where Jumbo Sale is, is not useless. Grab those, uh, we'll grab stairs and slabs too and maybe some cracked maybe some of those and i need candles i know where they are they're in the labeled candle box what kind of candles do we want to put down there probably just the gray ones would be my guess we might have to make some more I was watching some Hermitcraft over my lunch and uh, man, I'm really in the mood for technical building, like redstone crafter stuff. I'm really looking forward to um, to starting a sci-fi area. I think I want to do light gray candles. We'll take a sampling and see which ones look best. It's going to be one of those three, I'm sure. And I think the andesite would look the best in the candle spots, so we should be good. Why is everything... is it just loading? I don't know what's going on. I guess because I turned off shaders. Uh, yeah, no, I lurk in your stream every now and again. Uh, I don't watch a lot of streams. I don't generally have a lot of time. Usually what I do when I'm not streaming myself or podcasting, oops, uh, requires me to like um, do math, you know, like I'm doing my bookkeeping or writing emails and I can't, I can't have a stream open and have audio going at the same time when I'm doing that kind of work. So I tend to not, but every now and again, 
like I'm doing the dishes or something like that, I'll tune in when somebody's live. Especially if it's someone from the community or doing cool, interesting things like Lego. And I also, because I want to improve my own Lego streams, I like to see how other people do it. So I think one of the things I wanted to try here was a gradual step down. Oops. That's pretty cool. I think I like it being three tall most of the way. Sort of feels like it opens up into a cavern here, which is nice. Yep, I like the ceiling. And then we'll just finish up the walls. Man, get all kinds of gravel. I was looking at the new location that I want to put the sci-fi zone in, and I think there might be a double guardian farm opportunity. There's two ocean monuments that I think are within loading distance of one another. So that's really cool. I don't know whether that's useful. It might not be worth it, but even just for the bragging rights, it would be kind of fun. I don't think I want to make these corners bigger. No, I think we'll just go straight. We'll keep it simple. Wow, that's all my stone. Oh, it's nighttime already. What do we think of the mace? Uh, we've had a couple discussions on the Sponge Chunks podcast. So if you want some in-depth talk about it, the, the last two episodes of the Sponge Chunks, 289 and 290. Uh, and 290, we had Mog Swamp on. Uh, so Mog Swamp gave their opinion as well. Uh, but both Johnny and I chimed in. We had an email about it this week, which is cool too. Um, but I, uh, I'm i not a PvE or PvP guy. So, I mean, it's cool that they're adding it. I'm happy for the people that are excited. I don't really care. It's it's It does nothing for me as a builder. It does nothing for me as a technical player. So unless they add more to it, then it's not going to be for me especially with how much trouble it is to get in the first place. So that's a tricky thing. Uh, what else? Oh, I don't have a flint and steel. Um, we were discussing the model of it 
on the most recent episode and it's cool and i like what they're trying to do with the um where is that flint and steel there's flint i should just put that is it in here no it used to be in the candle box but i ran out of room Um, the debate we had on the show this week was, should it be like the Trident have like a 3d model or should it be like the pickaxe and all that stuff? Right. So like, if we look at my sword pickaxe, I'm going to place where I'm not right in the wall here. Can't really see it. So that flat pixel look that the pickaxe has, I think works for the pickaxe. I don't think it works for the mace. I think it needs to have more of a 3D look. Next time I go up to the toolbox, um, I'll grab my hammer for the the tables and chairs that I pack, because that has like a 3D model to it. And I think that's probably the best way that things could happen like that. Okay, so we need to put in some candles here. And the way that I like to do this is just to kind of nestle them into the wall. So we need to figure out where the lighting is going to trail off, which means I got to get rid of that. Candles only have like a light level of four. How many light levels does two, two, two candles have? So that's five, six. So it's like six, including the block that it's on. That gets around the corner. If I put it, say, like here. So what I'm thinking is we just throw it on like a little andesite place to make it look a little shiny. And that's how we like this really dim and we'll just put them in the wall every so often that, that looks pretty good maybe we'll even put andesite back there to make it look like it's reflecting a little bit and the next question is do we want gray white or normal candles i guess i'll go to the next candle spot to remove this next torch down here this one is this is lighting up so much uh, I'm glad for this data, this mod, because otherwise I'd never know what's going on. So, one, two, three, four, five. So I'd have to put it here. And we'll try gray candles. So that's normal candles, which I think I like. I certainly like them better than the gray. The gray kind of disappears. And then I brought white ones. So one, two, three, four. I might be able to get away with right here in the wall. Nope, not quite. That's gray. That's white. I think I like just the regular waxy color beige candle. And I think I like two. I'd rather have them more often than have to worry about it. We can always just put one here, I guess. Spice it up a little bit. Oh, that doesn't go very far, does it? One, two, three, four, five. So we'd have to go here. So it 
check to see if that works. See, the stair at least uh, won't spawn anything. Looks spawn proof to me. Just enough to light your way. And then we need at least one more down here. There's no light coming in from here at all. One, two, three, four, five. Have to be here, I guess. That leaves this mostly spawn proof. There's still a potential for some spawning here. And I'm wondering what we might be able to do. Sweet Sandy, hello. Good to see you. Icon uh, Icosphere says that the mace is pretty hard to get. Yeah, I agree. For what it is right now, it's hard to get. Mm. You know that they added it to a cartography map though, right? Well, sorry, they added trial chambers as a cartography map. You're still going to have to go through a number of trial chambers before you get the mace, but you'll... Trial chambers are going to be easier to find. J. Chris, I think you're right. And I think what they need to do is, like a lot of things in Minecraft, I think they need to add some functionality to it beyond just a weapon. The email that we got on... Monday was about how the sword as a weapon is used to quickly remove cobwebs and also chop down bamboo efficiently as like the preferred item in the game to do that. So we were speculating, I think one of the things I suggested was that the mace could be used to like break cobblestone down into gravel or sand. Uh, you could break glass into sand. You could hit a tree and shake the leaves off of it. We were trying to think about like smashing the ground or smashing things, creating new blocks. Just, it needs to, it needs to have something more than just PVE, you know? Okay. Uh, I need a light. Well, wait a minute. If I just put an extra candle in this, it might be enough because we, nothing's going to spawn on these spaces and I'm not going to light this up because this is, this is outside. I don't really care about this. It's more about having surprises. Nothing can really get in here outside of a baby zombie. So if I add another candle, does this get super bright? Still only goes to light level one. That should be okay. Something can still spawn here, but it can't get beyond. I'd see a creeper if it was there. So my only gripe might be that it might be a little bit bright but then maybe that's a good way to sort of signify that you're coming to the end of the tunnel so i'm okay with that and i think i want to change these steps back to like the natural stone texture Cool, that's done. It's fun to have I like that. All right, let's just make sure that this doesn't glow. It's a little bit brighter, but it's not like it's super noticeable until you turn in a corner. I think that's okay. 
Right, so what I was talking about with... Uh, do I have the hammer out here? I don't think I have it out here. All right, we'll have to wait, wait until I go back into the keep, but essentially was uh, a 3D model. I honestly just want a heavy cores to be renewable right now they are limited to about 2.5 percent of vaults per player so you can use maces as decoration and armor stands yeah see like that's the thing right if it's not going to have any other function then it's really really hard to get smashable blocks like glowstone and sea lanterns i mean those already come down pretty quick with pickaxes if you don't have silk touch then that's already it's like you don't want it to duplicate an existing purpose i kind of wanted to add something new you know i like the idea of renewable sand turning gravel into sand but um i mean i it would make it worth it like it's if it was really hard to get people would absolutely try to get it if, if you could turn gravel into sand you can get renewable gravel from pigland bartering farms so you'd have to stand there but like you could if you could do it then that would be great lurk and work says cosmic dancer thanks so much okay so we're going to move down uh i think to the left here and i'm just going to quickly turn this into a little cliff and then we're going to attempt to finish up the um the riverbank design here on this side similar to what we've done over there so you can see how that just has a little bit more love uh, and this is pretty pretty dull it was just basically bone meal move on so i want to change that a little bit and i might for the sake of some contrast add a little bit of deep slate in there just to have like a little bit of a rock i think that would be good and then we'll probably remove this So, do I have Deep Slate? No. Okay, I gotta go get Deep Slate. Certainly don't need that. I'll bring up my gravel, and I'm gonna need my coarse dirt. Deep Slate, that's probably it. Oh, I missed the door. I noticed a uh, texture pack that they use in Hermitcraft or in, on Corralis' video. I think I might get the texture pack for 3D enchanted bookshelves. So you actually have like a an indent in there. That might be worth checking out. Because this room would look really cool if they had like a 3D texture to them. Do, 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 do. Uh, so here is the hammer, and this is what I mean by I think a 3D texture would look better. So this is small over by the light here. It's small, but oh, wait a minute, I got a free cam. I think that that looks better if the mace had that kind of a texture instead of this i think that would be cool i've thought about actually creating some textures for my weapons and stuff like that the problem when you do that is that especially as a content creator you essentially get like constant questions <laughs> in chat <laughs> where'd you get that and so it becomes a little bit uh tedious in that way uh i was looking for gravel Deep slate, cobble deep slate. Have the tough out there already. I think that was it. Yeah, I think we're good. 
Well, don't you have mods to answer those questions? Yeah, you do. I do. But it just, it's, um, I find that it becomes repetitive sometimes in chat. Oh, I've got lots of Deep Slate Cosmic. Thanks. Yeah, I think adding some sort of way to renew sand would be cool. I was looking at the area for my sci-fi zone and it has almost all the biomes. So it, it's this giant, it's a huge, huge, huge mushroom fields. So you imagine like if that's a mushroom field biome, but imagine this is like, I don't know. It's probably the size of West Hill. Like the whole island is probably the size of West Hill Valley. It's just massive. It might even be bigger than that. And then like the same width of the island is the ocean at least so the land around it is like out like that so there's all these biomes around it and it's like jungle desert warm ocean there's coral reef everywhere and so there's all these biomes so i think what i'm going to do from a technical standpoint is i'm going to create like my new personal kind of like farm base in the sci-fi zone. I think it's going to be really, really fun. Does anybody bother to build with actual deep slate? I always use cobble deep slate. I find that regular deep slate just, it's always a problem because it's directional. I don't think I'm gonna have to go darker. Should be okay. I think deep slate is the darkest thing I used over here. Yeah, so this is what I'm thinking is just continuing a little bit of this bedrock look over on the other other side. Oh, Jumbo Sale, you use directional deep slate for checkerboard floors. That's a good idea. Very excited for the sci-fi zone that I've been hearing you talk about. Yes, me too. Yeah, I'm looking forward to a change of pace. That's for sure. I want it to be... The the challenge for me is going to be to have it not be more gray and white. You know, I, I want it to be pretty colorful. So I'm going to try to go more like a whimsical style, I think. But it's just going to give me a really good excuse to have like um, machines and crafters and pipes and things and it's it's gonna be one of those places that maybe not uh it might not be the most efficient but it'll be cool looking so i'm just gonna go ahead and trim all of this and we'll just do this over again because this is nothing crazy just bone meal and the odd little bit I might as well trim that too. All right, so let's start from say down here. Oh, I should bring a bucket too. Imagine Joel cracking knuckles and opening up the color swatches. Oh yeah, no, there's gonna be some some colors if I can help it. I mean, I, I my one of my favorite sci-fi 
IPs is Star Wars. I don't necessarily want to do like Star Wars stuff, but I'd like to do Star Wars inspired stuff. And some of that has got nice colors to it. It's usually a nice mix. far do I want this to go? Probably out about here. I should just bring the bed over. Oh, do I have a spare one? sleeping under the bridge like a troll. The mighty Elkhorn is here. How's it going, Elkhorn? So here's where we might want to pile it up and look like it might be sort of being supported. Need some cobblestone slabs. Need a goat on the bridge. The Billy Goat's Gruff, man, I haven't heard that story in a long time. It was one of my favorites as a kid. Might have to come back and add some mossy cobble in there. Not too bad.
Did I bring stairs? I did. Wisdom Mug, good to see you. Hope you're having a good week. I think you're here yesterday. This squid is driving me crazy. I think I've got to move the bed. It's a little distracting. I'll just put you up here. Oops. I think that's pretty good. Need to back up and get a good look at it. Yeah, I mean I'll I'll change those in the back, but not bad. Might need a stair or something there. Don't need all the grass. Oh, is that a river biome? Plains, 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 plains. It's plains. Sweet. Okay, cool. Hopefully it's that would it won't be gross when I try to transition into some bushes. I should have brought Mossy Cobble. What's the over under on full inventory today? We are 45 minutes in and I have not yet hit peak inventory status. Wrong thing. That messes around on the map a little bit because, of course, this displays as a blue block instead of a bush block. But not bad.
Oops. Actually, I think that might be better off as green. I do like the two tall grass there. So we'll try to put that back. Bone meal. Max Slash. Hello, welcome in. Where's my bone meal? Over here. You were here yesterday, Rooster Mug. You're right. I'm getting messed up because one, I'm super tired, and two, I'm streaming on days I don't normally stream. I woke up this morning at like 2.30. I might have been able to get back to sleep, but I eventually got out of my bed at 4 o'clock. Gave up and I had breakfast at 5. Normally I get up around 7. I went to bed early, Druid Jen, so like it wasn't the end of the world like i still got about four hours sleep i was in bed and very sleepy at like 10 o'clock sharp i had uh i just i just had a long day and so i was tired i leaned into it and i went to bed um but yeah it uh was not the way that i wanted to start the day Oh, if that's going to be a carpet, I think I might have to change that. Maybe we'll work in some ferns here too. Move the bed again. I'm normally good, Blast Jordan, with about six hours sleep. If I sleep a heck of a lot more than that, I find that my back gets sore and I just feel all kinds of creaky. That's what getting old does to you. Um, but I'm trying to maximize my sleep. I'm trying to focus on it and get it back on track because I'm training like really hard at the gym and you, you need the rest. You need the recovery, you know, like you need to be able to, to get yourself healed up before your next workout. And I'm, I was supposed to go to the gym and do legs today. And like, that's not happening. I'll do something small here at home, but like, boo, I can't imagine. Well, one, I've got a half an hour, 35 minute walk to the gym. I think we're okay with just having like I don't think there'd be much bush stuff going on. Well, I've got that stuff over there. We'll do it over here too. Let's just do the whole thing.
Those look silly. Yeah, I'm okay with it being a little minimal. That's fine. I might even want to get rid of this grass or moss block here and just have uh, like some, probably a fern would be good. Provided it's in a good spot. Yeah. Mm hmm you know what maybe we'll um take this out too Come on. Mike, is there a carpet there? Oh, that doesn't look that good. Never mind. They need to change the size of the hitboxes on some of this stuff. In my humble opinion. Maybe I'll switch out that top cobblestone for a bush. Small thing, walk to the gym, turn around, walk back. Yeah. The problem is that it's it's like, it's a huge time commitment. It's about three hours um, from start to finish because I, I work out for at least an hour. Plus leg day is like, you leave everything on the floor on leg day or you are not doing it right. Anybody else notice I'm getting sick and tired of walking up here to get stuff? <laughs> One space left. And I don't like it. Wow. I think we'll just do a slab there. Yep. I think that looks pretty good. I'll 
of that's pretty good. Oversleeping gets you t overtired, yeah. I also don't want to nap because I've had I've had issues in the last full calendar year sleeping, so I find if I nap then I just I know I'm just not going to be able to fall asleep when it comes tonight at a regular time. So I just need to push through and I find actually because my streams are pretty chill, like I'm not doing PVP or anything too crazy. I find that I can usually get away with, um, get away with some, some chill streaming. It's work. It's a way to get work done. It's a way to keep, keep the content flowing. Even if I'm tired. Officially full inventory. 58 minutes. Not bad. I lasted a whole hour. Although technically I could probably get rid of the uh, I could probably get rid of the deep slate now. If I oversleep or don't get quality sleep, my day is always rough the next day, says J. Christ. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. I feel like since I shaved this down, I need to add another one of these blocks. I guess maybe right here. I'm not going to have room for it, am I? No, it's going to give me four. Grandpa Crafter says, gotta love Twitch. Just now I got the alert that you're live. Yeah, it's... I really encourage people that I mean, you're obviously, a, you know, a fantastic supporter and a longtime member of the community, Grandpa Crafter. But like, I really encourage people that are new to consider joining the Discord if you if you don't want to miss streams. Like, if you really want to make sure, because I announce an hour or two before I go live. I keep a regular schedule most of the time. I mean, there's bonus streams, but then like my scheduled streams, I'm always on time where I'm letting people know when I'm not going to be able to be there. And um, it's also just like. You know, a great way to alert people if Discord notifications are on, then you get a notification and all that stuff. Stream time is at one hour, says Sandy. Good call. Let's take that break for folks that don't know. I take a break once an hour and it gives me a chance, especially on days like this where I'm a little tired to get up, stretch, shake out the sillies, refresh the coffee. I'll be back in about five or six minutes. Why not tell a friend, let a friend know that I'm streaming. It's always nice to try and grow the, the audience a bit. I'll see you in just a few.
Aldabar, hello, hello, welcome in. Blast Jordan getting pizza. I'm jealous of pizza. The tricky part for me right now is because of the meal planning I have and the training I'm doing is that being up so early, I'm essentially, I have to eat another meal today. <laughs> like I just, I'm, I'm going to be awake for so long that I'm going to need like a second lunch before dinner. Dinner's all cooked. I, I marinated and cooked some chicken breasts last night, did sweet potato fries and spinach. It was awesome. And I've got that for the next couple of nights, but like lunches, I just, I don't plan lunches because I work from home. So I can just cook lunches whenever. And I had oatmeal and coffee at like 1030. So around three, 233, I'm going to be hungry. Maybe I'll do like a grilled cheese or something. It's not pizza, but it's still got that cheesy, the cheesiness going on. I think that's good. I think we're, I think we've achieved a solid, a solid fix on that. And then it's just going to be a matter of doing all of the, the bone mealing and stuff along here. Now I could probably do a little up here. Might be worth continuing a little bit of what's happening below. Just a tiny bit. Yeah. Jumbo sale is sneaking a midnight snack. I really try to not eat late at night. That was my biggest problem for the first, I want to say the first year that I was having sleep issues is that I would, the way to get to sleep would be to have toast at like 2 a.m. And then you spike your insulin and then you'd fall asleep a half an hour later. But like, I don't need bread at 2 a.m. And right now, um, not today, but uh, normally intermittent fasting is what I've been up to the last two weeks trying to push through a plateau and get on track for what my goals are. But, um, the, uh, when was it? Yeah. This morning, uh, the problem with being awake at 4am when you're intermittent fasting is that you are starving. <laughs> like just, there's no way I was falling back asleep. Once I was wide awake at four, I was like, Nope. I, the only thing I can hear is my stomach right now. <laughs> I need to make more green concrete powder. Do I have the space to do it? I think so. That goes back there. I, I'm I could I could take it or leave it in the world, but I really like it in the inventory. I think the labels are really really cool in the inventory. Is this directional like a log? It is. Hmm. Very grid like. I wonder what that looks like if you cover it up, though. Oh, interesting. It's kind of like a yellowy green. Hmm. Get woken up by your bladder. Yeah, me too. Um, 
for me it's uh it's the uh it's all the water I drink too. Cuz I drink about a liter with every meal. And then I've got especially if I work out then I've got extra water that's happening on those days too. This is one of those things we're going to have to back up and look at a lot. A leader with every meal? Oh yeah. Not, I mean, not at the same time, but like usually, usually like when I start to prep a meal, I just down a mug and my mug is about 500 mils. And then the glass that I have with dinner is another 500 mils, but that's like, I sip that through dinner or lunch. And then after that, it's about half empty. And then I sit on the couch and watch TV or play a video game or something like that and drink the rest of it. Lemming882, subscribe with Prime. That's a new sub. Welcome in, Lemming. Make sure you connect your Discord and your Twitch account so you can join the Joel Duggan Discord through the Connections tab in Discord. Sometimes it takes Twitch about a half an hour to catch up, and it's been slow today, but keep on it, and hopefully we'll see you in the Discord. Yeah, I think that's going okay. So what I'm going to do now is skip ahead and do that little cliff, and then we can just blanket that with with moss and all those kind of goodies. I'm trying to just feather this out a little bit. And we'll do the same thing up here. You lurk a lot, and it was your time for my prime. Well, thanks very much, Lemming. I appreciate it. So I'm going to do something similar to this, but on a much, much, much smaller scale. So it looks like we've got cobble and tough at the bottom into andesite. And then it just kind of overlaps a little bit. bit too much. And then andesite.
Oops. It's all on an angle, so it's a little tricky. I might have to like break this up a bit. Mostly it's going to be seen from over here. Yeah, I think maybe I went a little bit overboard on the cobble. So it's such a hard transition into the tough. Maybe we'll just break this up down here. It's a straight line. Wonder if gravel would work. Do I have any? No. Turn it all in the concrete powder. I think I brought it with me though. Yes. Come on, come on, come on. King Hollywood and Motown Miki. Thanks very much for the follows. And Crafty M Surge? Craft M Surge? I'm not sure how to say it. Maybe this has to get just a little bit bigger. Yeah, that helps break up that line a bit. back to making this something else maybe gravel there sure now I don't know if we can get like a proper overhang on the top of it but we can try something Don't know how much of this I want to cut back. Huh. 
Oh, that doesn't look very good at all. That looks a little bit more natural. Elytra and Waterman. Maybe that'll be something they fixed in uh, in the new update. I don't even know if it's reported as a bug. Not that. Let's maybe do that instead. Nope, that was better before. All right, I think that's good. So we'll just double check that the river looks the way that I want it to. I think we're good. Didn't really change the shape. And then this cliff slash riverbank, a little bit weird in spots. Eventually I wanted to pull it back but I think we're going to have to leave it the way that it is. It just feels very straight here. Whoops. That also feels a little straight. That's kind of a triangle, isn't it? Let's not do that. That's probably okay. I think that feels pretty good. And I think we'll just go with bone meal for now.
need more inventory space so I can pick up all the flowers. Uh, what do we not need? I don't need the tough anymore. So, no too tall grass up here. And probably none on the bottom. And no flowers. I don't even have to look around. I can just use the, the map to seek and destroy. I mean, save. Rescue. Pretty sure I'm gonna have to move some of these shulker boxes soon. I don't think I have a flower box out here now. So now what I normally do is pepper in a bunch of ferns and grass and just kind of, it's about 60% grass, 70% grass. I usually don't do the very, very edge in some spots. You're witnessing the death of all the squid around me as they leave presents everywhere. We'll just go around at the point here. I think I've got it in all the spots. And it's usually easier to go from the bottom up. Sometimes it's hard to see where you're standing.
Oh no, not a bone meal. Where did I leave off? Right, right there. See how that looks. Hopefully I didn't overdo it. Nope, I think we're good. I just need to do a little bit more in the bottom. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Whoops. This actually looks pretty good. This one I'm gonna to have to do probably by hand. I guess I could do a little bit with bone meal. And I gotta make sure that this side looks good too. All right, a little bit of tweaking. Sometimes it's just crazy with the way that the grass goes and I guess I could just remove this block entirely. That'll help push that back a little bit. Grandpa Crafter, thanks for the lurk. Good on you for not skipping leg day. Jumbo sale. Thank you so much for being here. Take care. All right. Yeah. You know what? I think we're just going to straight up hit this with bone meal and cut it down. A lot of flowers. I think that's fine. I'm not going to be able to do much with this space until I move all the shulker boxes. And I don't think I'm ready to do that just yet. Unless maybe I could move everything along. Because I think we're done. I mean, that, that looks good. It's very simple. But I mean, it's not me. This isn't meant to be the focal point. This, that, and that. So you want something kind of bland. I just want a dirt coverage here, but then that's what you want to see. And by, by covering up a lot of that brown, it means that this brown is going to stand out a lot. It does get a little bit brown over here, but that's not the end of the world. I 
I feel like it kind of makes sense that it gets a little bit muddy and brown before it gets into the rocks. So yeah, so now we're onto this part. And for that, I think I'm going to move my shulker boxes over there. Chance to clean out the old inventory. I'm actually full in there. That's weird. Oh, some of that needed to go in the inner chest. Whoops. That goes in the inner chest. That might be the only one. I'm not missing one. I moved some stuff around. I need to get my coarse dirt box. And that's the one. And I don't think there's too much more. Got the wood. Happy is asking if there's any spots where you might be considering tough bricks since they came out. Oh yeah, I use tough bricks all the time. I'm not going back and changing old builds. The only time I think that I was holding off on something was the um, the the bottom layer of the keep here. It goes basalt, mud, um, and then deep slate into tough. I was holding off on that until tough came out, but since then... No plans. Uh, I have flowers and stuff in here. Moss. I guess I could put an ink sack on that, couldn't I? Something that I like about this is that you can dye the shulker separately so that if you want to, after you've done the, um, the mod label, you can 
still die it and it doesn't change anything. It's mostly where the ink sacs are. I think I've condensed them all into one spot. So this is all of the ink sacs that I've collected from just random squid. One, two, three, four, five, almost six, well, six stacks, because I just used one, I think. But six stacks plus whatever I turned it into dye. I'm sure I've used some of them before, too. And that's just from the squids that have been just committing suicide <laughs> around the, the area as I've been working here. String redstone. And then some of these I don't need. Those are both empty. Might as well just bring this stuff out with me. You never know. I think we're done with the deep slate though. Nice. Lurker with a question. How did you come up with the name West Hill? To my knowledge, Minecraft doesn't tell you what cardinal directions you are facing. Uh, it does. Not in the vanilla game, but in the coordinates, it absolutely tells you. Pizza guy got lost. Scotsman, that sucks. Cold pizza. No tip for pizza guy. So we are facing west at the moment. You can see that in the blue info in the top, in the left hand side. Uh, we are facing west, and there's a hill. <laughs> west Hill. <laughs> Not the most inventive name, but it stuck. I had no name for a while. But this this mountain is the reason why I built the city here. I originally was looking at this location as a potential dwarven fortress. I was thinking about building an entrance here because this really didn't change that much. I smoothed out this river, but it was always here. So there was a real opportunity to build this part up into like a drawbridge and then go right into the mountain here. But the mountain wasn't really all that big. I'd have to build out the back of it a lot. So I decided to just build the town on this plateau and have the mountain be sort of like a border. Actually, I should have landed over here. So as this process continues, uh, what I need to do here is uh, finish up this rock, and then we're going to blend in the landscape to better match what I've got going on over here. And before I do that, though, the way that I like to work with these things is I generally like to have another point of interest and then finish this up do this a point of interest and then blend in between. So I have like a starting and a finishing spot. And what I was thinking here and why I want to set up over on this side is that right around here, I feel like it would make sense to have a path veer off and go down to a little beach here. So I've got to be careful where it is. I guess it would be more like here. Yeah. I'm going to get rid of this grass. It's kind of distracting me.
Oops. Ah, so that's not quite what I wanted. I think the beach is going to be here. Not beach, just like a little spot for fishing or something. Maybe it needs to be a little smaller. Let's put the shulkers all here. And we'll set up. do the dirt and the grass dirt grass coarse dirt grass Moss. Probably not going to need a lot of wood, but put that out here as well. Oh, wait a minute. We've got this other dirt block too. Spot to drink beer and fish with your buddies? Yeah, sure. Um, I know this seems tedious, but it really does help me keep things straight in the long term. It's really strange that they are grayed out in the hot bar. I hope they fix that soon. Is that all shulker boxes? So it's only with, the, probably just with this display thing. If I display them normally, they would probably be okay. So I kind of want this to be an S-curve as it leaves the road here. And it's going to have to start back here. I'm going to try to do one side of it first, and then I'll do the other side. And 
That sort of works. I think maybe it has to go a little bit steeper here first. Yeah, that's a little bit better. That's more what I'm looking for. It, it really could be a, quite a thin path once it gets off the main road here. See how that's doing. Yeah, that's not bad. think we can commit to that. Creates a little point of interest along the road too, which is nice. Got that weird spot in the middle. That's a little bit better. Probably going to run into the same problem I had before where I'm going to need to make this steeper. Organization is the key to a successful mega build. Yeah, I could see that. I, do we still use mega build? Like I just, it's just a build. It's just, it's a long-term world. Because anybody with a long-term world, I mean, technically it's all a me mega build, right? In terms of how that's defined. Don't like that. Maybe use a bush there or something.
I'll just make it all coarse dirt for now. More brick. I probably should wrap things up, Cosmic. Thanks, though. Probably should wrap things up. I just want to make sure I can get this path where I want it first. So this could be back one. That feels pretty good. It'd just be a matter of the stairs or the slope. It's little, like there's really not a lot going on here. We'll have to come up with a softer way to do that because that feels kind of harsh. That feels a little bit better too. That's a little steep. We're at that, that scale where things get really sketchy. Sweet, Sandy, thank you for being fantastic. Is Scar streaming? I'll happily send folks over there. Scar's great. One block that needs to get removed here somewhere. I think it's this one. Yeah. Mm, nope, was not that one. So it's not long enough to be a re like a true S curve, but you can sort of see where I kind of wanted to be softer here, steeper, and then we kind of had to change this angle. I would have liked it to come a lot smoother, but um, it would have been well. We could st we could still maybe do that. It would help the stairs for sure. Yeah, what if I just moved a lot of this over by one? It would come back here, I guess.
No, I kind of like that. I really like having paths lead to something, so look forward to seeing what you add to this one. It's probably just gonna be like a little a little place. There might be just like a single barrel or like um one of those um trapdoor barrels filled with water or something. Just something little. Yeah, for me, it just feels like it gets a little wide. So maybe I need to cut back on this side now. That helped a little bit. I think that's probably good enough for now. I can always refine it a little bit later. Feels pretty natural. This one. Yeah, I feel like I want to get rid of that, but I like the that way that it goes over. I guess I could try doing this. That straightens it a little bit. That's good. So out of curiosity, I was speaking with my mods earlier and I have settings on the Twitch channel set to have um, anybody that does not have a registered email address has to be, the, the account has to be, I think it's a week old. But I could change it so that everybody, no matter what, has to have a registered email address to chat. And I don't know whether that would keep new people from saying hi or what. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. So just to kind of give you an idea about what I might, might want to do here. I do have my wood stuff out here, so I might as well. And do I have... Prismarine. So like, say this was like a little fishing spot. Then maybe like right here. Well, that's kind of right when you land. I guess it would be a little bit farther. Sort of looks like it could be fish.
Maybe it needs to be farther back. I don't know. But just something like that. I think it would be fun. It might look better back there. Then we just have to figure out whether we're going to sacrifice that block or, or what. We could ditch the slab and put the trapdoor inside there, but then it's not going to be like a full full square like a square it'll be a little bit off off center um person was banned try to do commands like ip and smp email addresses or no email addresses you're still going to get people like that maybe adding something to the title next to the name of the server as not joinable might help i that kind of stuff just feels negative i don't like putting negative stuff in the actual title of the stream Gossman UK says, I think I allowed people to not have email or phone, but they have to have been registered for greater than a month. Work on the assumption that anything being set up for botting is going to have been burned by then. Yeah, that's true. Um, the thing that I was concerned about with doing it for a month would be anybody that's new to Twitch that like hears the podcast and maybe wants to come watch me stream for the first time. And if their account is less than a month old, they're not going to be able to say hi even if they're a fan of the podcast. So I wanted to try to avoid that if I could. But, I mean, it's always a balancing act, right? Yeah, so I think that's what we'll do here. Um, I'm just kind of impatiently waiting for the rain. Really gloomy with shaders on. <laughs> Oh, maybe a tag. A tag CJ would be good. I don't want to put anything in the title, but a no join tag would be would be fine. Oh, Elkhorn, we already have that. Do we not? I thought we did. This is my favorite time in West Hill. First thing in the morning. Sun coming up over the hillside. Very, very, very cool. All right, well, forget all the bright flowers. Let's see how this feels coming up over the hill here. Yeah, I think that's great. I think it, it pulls your eye that way and sees the river. You can see all the details. Obviously, you'll see more of that in like a broader daylight because the, you can see the sun bouncing off those rocks and stuff. Uh, that works out great. So there's a little path over here. Takes you down to a little fishing hole. And we could have some stuff set up here. Maybe you have like a fishing rod leaning up against it. Very cool. Well, lots of good work done today uh, for anybody that was not here. We fixed up the secret tunnel down there, textured that. That only took a couple minutes. Then we fixed up this little bit here and this cliff. And then we added all of this grass and all of this kind of like too high grass and stuff to hide the hill. And we took some time and we added some deep slate, which we didn't have when we first built this a couple of years ago, uh, to the bottom here for some bedrock and some a little bit more of a foundation to the bottom of, uh, of that tower. And that allowed us to then have this in-between space. Uh, but that took most of the stream. That took most of the stream. And then just at the end here, we started adding a little fishing spot there. And I like that. Just like there's just enough space of like, there's nothing, nothing, nothing. And then there's a little something to look at. And then after that, it will just be more, more of the same sort of like bank decoration that we've got going on. Mm. 
I'm not sure what the frame rate is like when I do this with shaders on, but it's a little choppy for me. Probably really choppy for all of you. I just find these distracting coming out over the hill. We'll have to come up with something cool to do here. I think a tree here would be good. Especially if it was something fun to like be able to give some directions to the to the fishing hole and be like, oh yeah, which fishing hole do you go to? Oh yeah, the one. Take a left just after the tree. And if there was a tree right here, then you just go down this way. Free stuff. Doink. So this is a little bit uh, more complicated. I'm going to do something cool there too. Maybe have a, bo a boat set up would be cool. So those are our, our last little points of interest, right? So we've got a little fishing spot here with a boat. We have a little fishing hole here. And then everything in between them is just going to be bare, bare foliage. Uh, do, did I finish anything? I don't think I've finished anything in the to-do book. I think we're still mid, mid next task in the book. Let's see. Uh, north stuff, crossroads, road texture, wheat farm. Northwest Riverbanks Potato Farm Fishing Dock. Yeah, we're on all that stuff now. So, yeah, we're still mid mid task on that. Map is starting to look full. Yep, it is starting to look pretty full, which I like. I'm glad that um, the real thing that I want to have before I feel like I'm comfortable moving on is the experience of walking along this road and getting to West Hill, I want this to feel like a complete experience. So I want there to be a farm here, some grass and a tree there, a tree or so over there. Like I just, I want that feeling of just finished. Litter bug. Um, I want that feeling of finished as you're approaching the main place. See, this feels so flat to me right now. Like I still feel like I could put maybe a tree here, maybe a custom tree farther away over there. I don't want to block some of the views, but I, I definitely need to sort that out. We also need to add streetlights. Um, I don't know how far we're going to go, but certainly, certainly to the bend here, maybe as far as, this is a pretty big farm. So maybe as far as like this, this fancy entrance to the farm would have one. And then after that, maybe just on the entrances, but I'd like to try and light it up a little bit too. Anyway, uh, let's see who's live. Uh, Impulse is live, Megabytes live, and refresh my feed here. Let's send everybody over to Megabyte. She's always fun. I will see you folks tomorrow, Thursday, one o'clock Atlantic. That's UTC minus four hours. I was much earlier today than I normally am. I'm ending at the time that I would normally start. But as I mentioned before, I was up at zero dark stupid, so... Uh, tomorrow will be a shorter stream because I do have uh, gym plans tomorrow, provided the weather agrees with me. You can check out things like the Spawn Chunks podcast and the Citadel Cafe podcast, wherever you like to get your podcasts, including YouTube. Subscribe for free. It just If you're listening to those and you like them, just hit subscribe. It helps us out a ton. It means more ad revenue on YouTube. It means... Uh, more subscription and potentially more patrons. Uh, each one of those podcasts has its own Patreon and I have a Patreon too here on Twitch. So if you like the streaming as opposed to the podcast and you want to support that, uh, really all roads lead to the Discord. So pick your favorite way to support uh, with a Twitch sub, Prime sub, or a, a Patreon subscription uh, with either the Citadel Cafe or my own personal Patreon, which is just my name, Joel Duggan. And you can get access to the Discord, hanging out with everybody in the community um, in between streams. Uh, if you're new, welcome. Uh, please say hi in the Discord if you manage to find your way there. And uh, if you're new here in the chat, follow here on Twitch. Uh, I do let Discord know when I go live and I tweet when I'm live. So if you are relying on Twitch notifications, I suggest you follow me on Twitter at Joel Duggan because you absolutely get those live. Uh, same with Instagram. I post to Instagram stories when I go live too. And uh, thanks so much for the modding 
Sandy and for popping in Cosmic. I know that you're working. Uh, good to see everybody, all the usuals. And thanks for the support. Project is coming along. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.